Welcome, welcome back. This is uh, the following exercise after lesson four. So technically this is still lesson four, part two exercise. Uh, we're going to apply the same techniques and um, the same tools we learned on the previous tutorial. This is just basically a, another lesson to uh, kind of reinforce the same principles and concepts we learned. Okay. So now let's uh, click here on Fusion. As always, as you know by now, after four lessons, first thing I like to do is always rename my uh, notes. I, w I like to be organized. So in this case, this guy, uh, we're going to call him patient. Um, okay. And let's watch the clip. So what happens here is that the camera is doing a roll movement. However, we can see that the patient's eyes are moving too much. So sometimes what happens is that directors or producers or the cinematographer itself will tell you things like, we don't want that. Uh, movement. It wasn't planned or it's just not uh, right for that clip. So it's the VFX artist's job to actually fix those in post-production. So just like we did last time, same exact um, tools except for basically this is easier because we don't need to use the paint tool. So let's find a good frame. So for me it's probably going to be around here. I, I like this one. So 173 here. Uh, we are going to add a uh, planar tracker same exact thing we did so planar tracker right and what you want to do here is let's load it uh we want to set our reference time to 173 and then draw a mat around our patient here in this case being the man here and it doesn't have to be necessarily an extremely detailed mat but you also don't want to go overboard and be very, very sloppy with it because that uh, that could be a problem as well, right? So you want to kind of have a good track. Remember one thing, a lot of beginners don't know this, the more points you add, the more control you have over the the your image or video, however, the harder and le least manageable this so see I added a lot of points I did that on purpose so let me adjust this a little bit adjust the different points and kind of like straighten things out a little bit just like that and you know this is an overkill for what we're doing here but you know it just helps to have a an idea of how you do that okay you do it like this all right beautiful so we have um, now that we have uh, our path here the the track we can start tracking uh, and let's once again select our track current planar tracker all right let me see it now okay much better and let's uh, let's track it so uh, reference time 173 we have it set and then let's track forward perfect is done so go then last track backwards. Once again, resolve does its thing, starts to analyze every point and all that. Planar tracker is amazing for this kind of uh, tracking. And perfect, the hardest part is done. Uh, now we are going back to our, let me go back my reference frame here. Um, and let's add a time stretcher, just like last time. So time. So remember last time I did time speed by accident, time stretchers, the one right underneath. So um, output of the patient, input of the time stretcher, once again. Uh, here he has a keyframe by default, uncheck that. Source time, change it to the same time you had for your, uh, here on the, uh, which is 173. And now we have a freeze frame, if we load this, of this image. The next thing is last time remember we added a paint tool right after it because we wanted to remove the marks. In this case we don't have to do that. So we can right away start adding a polygon mat around our eyes. So let's draw a polygon mat here around our patient's eyes. Okay, uh, as I said, doesn't have to be that specific, it can be you don't want it to be sloppy either you know if you have to be sloppy then it's better to be precise um but so this is good uh it's 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 enough for what we need and 
let's add a mat control once again same tool uh, let's connect the time stretchers output to our mat controls input here and then let's connect the mat controls uh, let's connect the polygons uh, output into our mat control and use that as a garbage mat and now uh, once we view it look what's gonna happen it's white and black it shouldn't be opposite you ask in fact if we look at it mat control <laughs> we're actually removing that we actually need absolutely need to invert this just the same way we did last time now I can see a little bit here better I can kind of tweak this a little bit you know as I said before this is pretty good for what we need okay Maybe I'm gonna add a little bit here and we are almost done two minutes left so there we go um, okay great so now look what happens now what we have here is we isolated the eyes right we don't want the eyes to move so what we're gonna do now is to go to our planar tracker and create a planar transform here now our planar transform we're gonna use its information to the tracking information to attach to our eyes here so I'll take the output attach it to the planar tr uh, tracker here and now once we load that look what happens now that information is translated into our mat control and now we have the ability to track the movement of the camera the right the movement uh, the, as the camera was rolling around our subject into our isolated eyes that we just did okay perfect so now same as before we don't need the planar tracker it served its purpose get rid of that take your uh, take a merge here merge one and let's load it let's attack our planar tracker planar transform sorry to our merged uh, input here uh, sorry foreground and now once we play it so it's loading it's loading it's loading it's loading look the eyes now are not moving and that's how you do a replacement eye replacement in this case eye replacement and one thing i noticed if we go to the beginning here we have very hard edges we can fix that by going to the polygon and just increasing the soft edge to about here should do it and now when we play it out look what happens you can see that now it's gone see it's gone and the eyes are not moving any longer perfect we did this very with with total one two three one two three four five six seven seven nodes that's all it took okay so i hope this lesson helped this was just to reinforce the same concepts that we learned in the previous video remember the best way to learn is always by doing something reading or just watching me do it is not enough you need to do it yourself in order to really learn something all right so thank you for watching this was the exercise of lesson four next lesson we are going to go through green screen it used to be one of my favorite techniques in vfx and just uh, as a long time cinematographer it's one of those things that you use on set a lot but we are going to key out a subject and then replace the background perfect so uh i hope this helped and i'll see you on the next lesson lesson five